In this video, I'll show you how to edit content and customize effects when using the wizard in ProShow 8. In addition to building shows automatically, when using the wizard, you also have custom control over your content when needed. In part two of our introduction to the redesigned wizard, we'll take a look at both the basic and custom options. Let's get started with the basic editing tools. The most basic is removing an image from the wizard. Select one slide or a group of slides, then click the trash can icon. The caption option allows you to do two things. First, you can edit the text in a title slide. And second, you can blend text and visual content together on the same slide. Simply select a slide, press the caption icon, and insert your text. When the wizard builds the show, it will use effects from your theme specifically designed for captions. Next you have Randomize. This will randomly change the order of any slides you select within the wizard window. To move slides to a specific point in your show, just click and drag. You can also rotate your photo and video content. Each click of the icon will apply 90 degrees of rotation to the selected item. If you've added video clips to the wizard, select the video, then click the Trim Video icon. From here, you can trim your clip to only show a preferred section of the video. Just like video clips, you can also trim your music. Simply click this Editing Tools icon to open the audio trimmer. Now let's take a look at something brand new for ProShow 8, applying custom effects when using the wizard. When customized, instead of applying an effect from your selected theme, the wizard will skip that slide and leave your effect alone. To apply a custom effect, select a slide, then click the Pick Custom Effect icon. From this window, you can choose the custom effect you'd like to apply to the slide. Try using the filters at the top and the categories on the left to help narrow down your options to fit your custom needs. When you find the effect you like, click Apply down here at the bottom. Back in the wizard, you'll notice that any slides that you customize will be highlighted in red, and you'll also see the name of your effect just above the slide. Selecting multiple slides at the same time gives you the option to apply a custom effect in two ways. First, you can apply the same custom effect to each of the selected slides, or you can choose a custom effect that uses multiple layers. When you apply a multi-layer effect, back in the wizard, you'll see how the red highlight groups the slides together. To change a custom effect, click the Pick Custom Effect icon again and apply another effect. If you'd like to remove a custom effect, select a customized slide, then click the Remove Effect icon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our blog, follow us on Vimeo, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.